Hey Gus here, um, welcome to my channel, or welcome back, um, Our Country Australia it's called. Um, I've had a few people ask me why I haven't been bringing out, um, you know, when's, when's my next video, stuff like that. Um, there's a few things I want to just cover on this short video. One of them is, is why I haven't brought any out, and uh, at the end I'd like to just cover the new toy, the new Mavic 3. Um, just mainly the drone, um, the zoom and the avoidance on it. Look, I'm not a pro on this sort of stuff. I just love what they can do. I love the zoom on these things. The animals I'll be able to sneak up onto these with this drone. It's just, yeah, it's got me pretty excited. Um, so why I haven't been bringing up, um, why I haven't made any docos? Obviously COVID, COVID-19. It's locked us into um, our homes sort of stuff. Where I film, but some other some other YouTubers are very lucky, very fortunate that they live near places that they can film. I, I unfortunately don't. Um, I'm 2,000k away from from where I like. I like the Kimberley country and northern, northern Australia. Um, so yeah, I haven't been able to get up there because of restrictions and stuff like that. Re when regions were, were cl closed down. Looks like the borders are going to open now, so... Um, that's, that's a big bonus. Everyone's pretty excited about it. The other one is my wife and I, we've decided to, decided to sell this beautiful home. We've been renovating it for the last 10 years. Um, yeah, we are sad about leaving, leaving the house, giving it up and all that, but we've decided to hit the road for a couple of years because of, you know, my love for filming and stuff like that. So. And we, we also both want to go out there and see Australia. So just just a short little um, take out. I'll just get my phone opened to where I had it. Well, um, I'm only a small channel, so so that, you know it's, to me it's great. New subscribers last month were just 31. I think that's I think that's awesome and thank you very much. And I've just lost where I was. Okay. And total total minutes watched was 13.6 thousand. Um, thank you very much, people. Thank you very much. I am trying to get some more stuff out, but like I just finished saying, COVID. And also we we used COVID to. Um, and finish this house well we just we just finished it last week so it's on the market so hey, if you want to look for a house look up 2j you know it's quite a nice property um i do your mates rates but yeah thank you very much subscribers um some honesty is i don't know so so yeah i, I can't th can't thank you enough especially when you when you're watching and and, and um please if you if you're not a subscriber subscribe to me and yeah, I promise in, in the future I'll, I'll put out some more docos. Um, so the other the other thing is this Mavic 3. I don't know. So I'll just put this one down. It's a bit confusing. So this is the Mavic 3. As you see the box there. Hopefully, get yeah, there. Yeah, all good. You can see the box. There's so obviously nothing in that box. The Mavic 3's already been unfolded, tested, flowing, and look, it's it's just incredible. It really is. Um, the zoom on this thing, the zoom, the, the two things I like, I, I haven't even started to look at what else it can do. The zoom and the avoidance. The avoidance on it, um, the first time I did it, it just braked, and then I realized you can do a break in it. And ab or avoid avoidance. So I did the avoidance, and the bloody thing just went all the way around a tree. You just just stared at it. It's just incredible. And the zoom, well, look, I can't wait to get this zoom thing up to um, up to the Kimberleys and sneak up on crocodiles, buffalo, whales, whatever, whatever's up there. You know, can't wait. But yeah, um, thank you for the subscribers. You know why why I haven't been making docos. Um, the house is on the market, hopefully it sells quickly and my wife and I can jump in our um, caravan 
and head off. Um, I'll also be taking Nanya with me, so I've got to do double up trips. But it will be sad to leave this property. Um, like, you know, some of these trees here, I planted them when they were like four, four inches high. Just little tiny little stumps sort of thing. Now they're just a big canopy all the way around me where I'm sitting now. So, yeah. But I've got the whole of um, Northern Australia waiting for us, so... Hey, welcome back to our country, Australia. Um, got another trip planned. This time I'm taking Nunya back up to the Kimberley Coast and I'm going to be taking her past the horizontals to a place called Montgomery Reef. This reef is just incredible, mate, I tell you. It just rises 10 metres out of the ocean when the, when, when the tide drops and it's just spectacular to see. Um, and there's also some islands inside that reef that I'd like to try and get to. But to do all this, I've got to carry at least roughly about 100, 150 litres more of um, fuel. Um, so what I've decided is, is, is this roof that I've built all the way up here past or right up to say here, all this here, right to the end. I want to I want to do the whole whole lot. Just trash it again and try and see if I can get a little bit lighter. At least well, I'd like to try and go for about 100 kilos lighter. That way there I can take the, the the excess fuel that I need and get to the Montgomery Reef. So let's see how I go. To a place called Mac Sunday Island. One there. Um, I, ca I carry on with the chainsaw. Um, I'll just give you a quick rundown of what I ho hope to see at the end of this project. Um, obviously a lot lighter. Um, when I first first did this roof all the way back to the transom, I probably did add, add a few kilos and, and it has reduced the amount of fuel that I can take, which is important because we do go a fair way up the coast. Um, so yeah, I, I hope really hope I'm pretty confident that I'm um, gonna uh, succeed in, in making it a lot lighter um, but then again I'm not a boat builder so um, whatever I, I say in, in, in the next few minutes that works for me it might not work for you guys like I said I'm not a boat builder I do like mucking around with stuff and building stuff um, it's definitely a lot cheaper than than getting people to do it for you um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not a boat builder, so please don't take this as this is the way it should be done. Works for me, might not work for you. So what has it actually worked for um, worked for Nanya at this stage is these fans and also this box here. Used to put the um, GoPros and little cameras in there as well. And right next to that is the fuse box. They light up so I can tell what's going on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to delete stuff like this and try and take less cameras and that, and everything just should definitely want a lot lighter so really biggest problem I, I got is probably these seats these are seats are old off a old, old Ford Falcon and I'll tell you what compared to compared to these seats here which cost a fortune but I tell you, mate, after about bloody oh, two, two hours on the water, you can get these Falcon seats and just adjust them from this thing here, like that. And they are just so comfortable. You know, you can go all the way back and get a really good, nice thing. But these seats here, like, I think they were about three, four hundred dollars each or something. Rigid ass. It's hot. They're horrible. Absolutely horrible. So, I think I'll put the old Ford Falcon seats on. Back on is one here. And we also use these as a bed. So you can go all the way back like this. Wind it all the way back. And it ends up being quite a comfortable bed. Go all the way like that, 
and your feet just sit up on the dash. So yeah, you can't do that with the likes of these things. Nice armrests, but pretty much good for nothing. The old passenger or something like that, which I don't really take many of them. Over the years, Nunya's had about three, actually this is the third build now. Third, and I will say it's the last one. Um, the first one I ever did was just, just pine and just a shade cloth roof. Look, it, it kept the um, sun out, it was great. Nice nice and shade, but one one time there up in the Kimberleys, I shit you not, it was July, very unusual. We got four inches of rain. Um, Shade cloth, four inches of rain, work it out for yourselves. Everything was just soaked. So that shade cloth went. So then I built the um, extended version all the way back to the transom from the hard hard top with the aluminium all the way back to the transom. And I, I did it with plywood. Probably was a little bit too heavy. Um, not probably, it was. It, it definitely was heavy. Um, but it worked a treat. You know, it had the kitchen in there and stuff like that. As, as they say, go away with the kitchen sink. Well, I, I did literally, literally did with Nanya. Went away with this kitchen sink. Um, but too heavy. I want to go further. So it all had to come off and go and get it built. I ended up not doing it myself. I ended up getting the professionals in. And okay, it cost a bit, but now it's nice and light. It's aluminium. Um, it's a great thing. When we had the plywood all the way back to the transom, look, I tell you, way out in the middle of absolutely nowhere, the shade underneath Nunya's roof was was very welcoming, especially when you got 35 to 38 degrees. And the thing we found though, the annoying part, was casting. We couldn't cast the way you you, you really wanted to. You had to either go up the bow, cast up there, that's quite annoying at times, or you had to sit on the stand, stand on the transom itself. Crocodiles, no, I don't like it. Too close to the water. So, yeah, that's look. look. Do you have sh too much shade? Or you, you know, so I've decided to do the 50/50. Um, I've still got about two meters of deck space out the back. Heaps of room to cast. Um, so yeah, I I hope it's a good thing. Like I said, it's Nunya's last build. The old saying of, what does boat mean? Bring on another thousand. Well, yeah, that's what it means when you start mucking around and build, rebuilding boats. Bring on another thousand. Thousand dollars. So, yeah, it's, enough's enough. I've got to stop. And just, I've got about two weeks to go before Nunya's finished. I'm just waiting for um, two beds to be um, finished. I've designed and, and got these beds manufactured and they go across the, the um, bow of Nanya and I, th I think that'll be a good thing uh, getting a nice sleep comfortable sleep is um, it's pretty important when you're when you're out absolutely in the middle of nowhere so yeah I'm just waiting about two weeks they reckon they'll be they'll be ready and then like where I am at the moment it's 10 degrees I've swapped the old hat for a beanie because it's it is quite miserable down here, down south, just out of Perth. So two weeks from now, I'm going to put Nunya on the back of my cruiser and get up to the Kimberleys. And he just freshly... I did say that I got the professionals in. They did all the welding and all that for the aluminium, but I did the electrics and also these windows. Um, I ended up getting a quote for just under $3,000 to get sliders on the left and right hand side. Um, 
because that that cab, mate, when that sun comes in, it's that hot. You just, you know, the fans don't keep keep it cool enough. So, just under three thousand um, dollars. Started balk at that, so I ended up doing it myself for about two hundred and fifty bucks. The whole lot, cut and all. Um, I know it was Perspex that I used, not glass. So it's just, yeah. But I did save a lot of money, and I'm quite pleased with that. So old Nunya's been getting rebuilt. Um, one thing I did do, probably regret doing, um, is my tackle box. I took it to a friend's place because we're sort of like a little bit homeless, homeless at the moment, but that's another story. Um, so he thought this, this esky was actually waterproof. That sort of looks waterproof, but... So he's left it outside, and probably a good six months later, I've come back and grabbed it because none is all ready to go. But as you can see, I hope you can see that good... See if I can get out of the sun there for a bit. Um, yeah, look at that. See all these here, they're all rusted out. So I don't really want to use them because, you know, how many times do we use a allure and get pricked ourselves so we don't really want that in our skin so unfortunately i've got two options sit here for hours and hours and hours grinding all this stuff off or just go and buy a new set so i'd say looking at yeah look at them i don't know if you can see that good and proper nice and close hopefully it doesn't go out of focus but there then yeah i've had these lures for a long time the only ones i've saved uh these couple of four plastics sorry um and two white red-headed halcos so that's the only ones i've managed to save um in the other and look even the toolbox is so like, ugh yuck i can use these sinkers these yep i can use those definitely use that but yeah, there's a couple, couple small ones, too much rust. Just don't want rust in the fish or you don't want it in the skin. But even this other tackle box here, it's like, holy crap. Yeah, as I said, it's not his body. I thought it was waterproof. But look at that. So, possibly, I actually like this lure. Yeah, I'll probably throw that one away too, so. It's a shame, I've had them for over like 10 years, but yuck. Then one bit of braid there. Well, we'll see what happens. So as you can see, this is my response to sitting there for hours on hours cleaning the lures. Um, just go and buy a new kit, which is what I've done. So just for fun lures, I'll just cut them off. That way there, we're not really catching a fish when we just want to have a bit of fun. Watch them chase them. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. So I'll pick four of them, just like that. Tie the line on, chase the old fish, will chase it, get caught and we'll have a bit of fun. The last one I'll do, decided to take five instead of four, so I'll take this big one. See how she goes across, across the surface, plus about a couple of metres. Plus a couple of metres below. So uh, yeah, that one there. Should get a few fish excited. So these are all the lures that, um, I've been cutting the, uh, cutting the hooks off. I'll keep, like I said, I'll keep a couple. Yeah. About four of them for uh, dummy ones. And the rest, when I've got nothing to do when the tide's out, I'll um, put some new hooks on, your rings and hooks. So I'll be, I'll be all good to go. But do that another day. And I'll just keep these ones as teasers, teaser hooks, teaser lures. So before Nanya had to be rebuilt, she also had to be taken apart, which didn't go 
quiet as planned. Um, first thing I, I wanted to do was get up the top because the roof was so large. Cut it in about four sections, and then my idea was to get down down to the deck space and cut the legs off or posts, whatever you want to call them, and then push each section off. Hopefully, I had four sections to push off. That way, nice, quick, and easy because only only myself knows how much elastic I put on on all this um, plywood. So it was a bit of fair bit of pushing and a fair bit of cutting to get it all off. The right hand side here, as you can see, see me getting up there and give it a push, came off reasonably easy. A fair bit of um, cutting and all that on the post at different stages, um, little bits and pieces. But yeah, but I was I was pretty wrapped the way it came off. Um, so I get up there and push it all off, and you know there's a good 25 kilos just there on its own. So I'm definitely going to have a win with the the weight weight factor here. Um, but this next little bit there was yeah, it scared it scared the two of us. I get up on the boat and I'm pushing off the last bit, and um, you can just see me here grab my beer. I think I'll get it out of the way. So I don't want to spill my beer, but I didn't see who was coming. And yeah, this is one close, very close. We were very lucky. So with the rest of the roof off, let's have a look how none you turned out. I just got off the phone to um, the old mate there that's that's making those beds. I was telling you about the beds that are going across the um, whole deck of uh, Nunya. Uh, he assures me they'll be ready tomorrow. Nunya's ready now, and I'm busting to go. Um, so I've just got to wait and pick those beds up. But at the moment, I'll just quickly um, show you over Nunya and then the rebuild and um, see what you think. You know, feel free to comment on the um, comments on the bottom and all that. But yeah, I'm pretty wrapped about. How none you turned out. Okay, one of the things I, I wanted to, um, to do was to be able to um, get up on the roof off Nanya like this. So I ended up getting this ladder made up, and oh, it's pretty good, good idea get up there and you can actually um sleep up there as long as you don't stand on the solar panel i'll be happy with that but yeah definitely definitely just his ability like normally if we wanted to get up on the on the, on the roof and sleep up there we'd have to go along the deck the side there and so i'll just show you we'd have to go along in there get up on the rail there stand up um don't really like doing that so yeah, the ladder's a permanent thing. Um, what else? I've got the rocket launchers up here. I've got eight of them up here. We've got the deck lights. Also some speakers just for a bit of music. And I've got the drums. They'll tuck in there nice and tight. Two on either side. Um, that's about it. And this, this is the, the back of the canvas. Or the back of the cabin, sorry. That's all clears, double zip, down here, <laughs> double zip, 
it. And of course, when you when you sort of cruising along, and you just have that rolled up, tucks in, ties up there. So that's pretty good. Um, and into the cabin. Um, these seats they actually won't come with me on this trip to Montgomery Reef. I'll use the um, they actually just come off straight up like that. Use that bit of wood there as a workspace for the computers and the charging of um, cameras and stuff like that. Uh, so I go right up the front. What have I done? Put a handrail here just to hold on. Hopefully we don't have any rough seas. But if we do, you know, we have something to hold on to. Um, so I'll start at the side windows. A bit of airspace. That's that. It's probably one of the best things I've done on the boat. You know, the, the air coming in, you're sitting in the seat there. I did go over the Ford Falcon seats. Um, so, yeah, the airflow coming in there, plus going all the way through to um, once that's rolled up. And, of course, these side clears here, they can roll up. So there's going to be airflow everywhere around this cabin. Um, it's going to be good. So, yeah, the other side window. And you definitely definitely like that and they just lock down um garmin garmin new chart plotter 12 inch chart plotter um can't wait to start using that that's going to be pretty good um the manual for it you'll probably just like any other manual check the manual out there's three of them so yeah whether I ever end up reading a lot of it, main things I want is just your, just your um, navigation, um, what do you call it, anchor drag, stuff like that. That's that's the mount mount what, what I'm after. Uh, what have I done here? Yeah, I got me battery chargers for all my little cameras and all that. I've gone with um, the um, chargeable ones instead of just keep on getting buying expensive batteries. Um, so there and i got a little converter out there that's about it sav winch bilge pump and that's all my lights and stuff like that so yeah i got a torch mounted there so i've always got one got the um vhf uhf handheld also up here i got the um 27 meg which is it's not far from being um deleted not really deleted but not mo as monitored as much so got the vhf was recommended to do that so i ended up doing that last year people are, uh, tend to be um more researching and, and ten people tend to be more um monitoring the vhf these days that's about it for the front the shut the cabin well there she's all packed she's ready to go um those swags, don't know if you can see that, quite see them. The swags up there, they'll be actually going on the roof. So there'll be more room here. More, um, we don't really sleep under here. So this is just for space and stuff like that. Two fridges. Um, we'll end up putting another fridge behind the pillows there. Um, and that'll be just for drinks, keeping cool and all that. Because we're expecting about 35 degrees plus. So yeah, keep keep the old hydration up and we'll be laughing um what else um i did say on the when i was talking about the cameras and all that when i was actually taking um none europe part i mentioned about the cameras i'm going to try and take um less cameras when i say try i don't normally try i, I take all my cameras so this time i've taken all the cameras because i think every camera i've got does a different thing like these gopros i'm actually holding it now um i've said it before i'm not a guru on, on cameras and the technical side of stuff there's plenty of people out on the youtube world that will um can explain technical stuff a lot better than i can i won't even try um but the gopro and the say Osmo Pocket, I really like the Osmo Pocket. Um, it's the sound quality, quality I don't like. You get within 
a meter or two to three meters away from these items and forget it you know you, you just and i don't like that typing what i'm trying to say and stuff like that so that's why i choose to take other cameras i hook up um little walk um speakers microphones sorry microphones to them and you can hear what i'm saying 50 meters away so yeah the, that's why i'm taking all the cameras plus di different lenses stuff like that uh what else so this is just show you this is the the original cab of nanya and this is where i had all that wood all the way back to the transom so the whole lot got taken off and then so from up here that's all new all new up here all, all these posts that and it's all aluminium the whole lot's aluminium so it's it's reasonably light and then of course it's got the clears zip down like i said rolled up and you know you got airflow galore um what else just a heap of lights uh forget what else Oh, I got me two batteries under here. I'll just see if I can take that. These are two new batteries, and they are solar. Got the solar on the roof, so if you can see that. There's me two batteries, solar down there, and I've got them connected to the um, ingles. Um, yeah, so yeah, one on either side. Got the other one over here, down there underneath. I'll take the seats off like i said i won't be taking them so yeah and then lift up the lift up the wood and yeah i can get into the um batteries so now we'll go back and we'll go back outside okay go through here um i'm just going to show you the winch I'll actually walk along the side up here got some grab rails here for just when you're coming along um this here is a little bit annoying when they made up the the canvas um i don't know, don't know if you can quite see it they've overlapped the roof sort of thing so when it does rain the the water would have gotten here and just soaked the cab and i really wanted the cab dry i, I just yeah we've had too many wet wet times there so i just want a permanently dry cab so that was annoying the part on the canvas so I ended up putting this um, Perspex up there, silic silicon it down, and it's working a treat. So that was the best thing. Solar panel, 250 watt, charging the two batteries. Walk long, walk long. Got me spotlights. These spotlights, um, there was one one time there I really needed, needed lights. I didn't have lights at all. And we got sort of like a little bit sort of mix up I'll, I'll tell that story some other time um but i'll tell you the spot these spotlights they're, they're worth it they really are um yeah the good thing so yeah this is the um sav winch it's the 1500 triple s sav winch electric um i've installed it myself um haven't even tried it out yet so i am busting at the seams to give it a go um admittedly i don't really go out of my way and and and, and anchor up like you know 50 foot of water or 30 That's foot pretty of water. much it for um nanya's rebuild um doesn't seem like a lot but it's a lot of things there that are going to make the trip a lot easier especially the dry cab and the airflow through the cab the winch that's going to help um the chart plotter the old lawrence finally packed it in um admit look all this stuff is, is just over 20 years old that I had on the boat, so it's it's done its time, and you know, I'm quite pleased at what it's done. But you know, it was time to update. Um, so, like I said, I'm waiting for these beds, but I wanted to come down to the. Um, right now, I'm at the Avon River, so yeah, I tried to get down here a few few days ago, but because of the Avon descent. Um, every man and his dog was down there, which is fair enough. They're all down here um, supporting all the um, people on the um, little boats and the canoes, kayaks. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, probably the, the biggest thing I wanted to, to, to achieve with this build with Nanya is definitely the cab a lot drier. Um, so then if we do get a couple inches of rain or something, we can just go in the cab, 
plenty of room to sleep, cook, stuff like that. Um, and obviously the um, navigation. That's, that's a. I don't. I, I'm not even going to go there. How 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 important the nav navigation is, way up in the Kimberleys. A lot of uncharted areas up there, so you know you you got to have navigation of some sort, even if you're just following the, the coastline and and there's no there's no um, actual maps for that area. It's not been charted. You can just follow the coastline and um, yeah, it's I just love the whole build of of Nanya and and finally I've got. A pretty good boat, you know. The she's whole an build of um, Nanya has been. Oh, mate, I've actually enjoyed myself um, rebuilding her. Like I said, this is the third time, last time for sure. Because I'm really, really, really happy about about how she's turned out, from the cab to how dry it is to the airflow. Like I said a few minutes ago, the navigation's a big thing. Um, a lot of places where I'm going to be going is very uncharted. So even if I'm just following the coastline. At least I've got a rough idea where, where I'm going. Um, nice and steady. Got to look out for rocks. Um, reef, a reef can just appear from nowhere, and you know you, that's a risk you take. But I'm willing, to, willing to take it with the uncharted areas that I go into. Um, these next trips coming up, we got the likes of Montgomery Reef, like I've said. We've got Walcott Inlet, um, the Isdale River. Oh, I don't know how many years I've, I've dreamt about the Isdale River and that, that's right up the far end of Walcott Inlet. Some dangerous country but um, yeah I'm willing to, willing to give it a go. Get to the Isdale River and you get to the where the, the um, salt water meets the fresh at the rock bar and apparently it's supposed to be just just an amazing place to fish, camp and just just be, you know, be, be at one yourselves. Um, what other places? They've got Jugon, Jugon Bay, I would like to get there. Um, Doubtful Bay, Talbot Bay, I want to get back to the horizontal waterfalls. Um, I don't really um, usually like, you, you've, you like the build of um, Nanya. Um, I don't know, comment on down below there whether you, you believe I got her a little bit lighter. I know I've taken excess stuff as in cameras and all that, but like I said, I like to take my cameras, but weight wise, I reckon I've, I've done a pretty good job on getting getting the, the main heavy stuff off the wood and all that, replacing it with aluminium, replacing it with the canvas, the clears. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to go back, finish packing Nunya. Um, not much to do. Like I said, I'll just go and get those beds and say goodbye to the Yavon River. Um, yeah, and then I'm going up north. Just one other thing, um, if you're watching and you're new and all that, please subscribe, share, like, whatever you, whatever. Just just click subscribe, comment on below if you wish to comment. Subscribe doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me promote what I'm doing out here because this is just a beautiful place to be. Australia, it's our country.